Dave, I've looked at, I think, thousands and thousands of houses on things like Redfin and Zillow and all that, and the ones that catch your eye are the ones that look the best. Uh, this one from the outside right away, you see it, it looks awesome. I wonder as a photographer, what are you looking at? <laughs> um, I realize that uh, properties don't sell unless people uh, come to them. My job is to, to take something like this and um, uh, give it even more of a wow factor. And so your idea is you start on the street where someone would would actually in real life be walking exactly. up to the home. Exactly. Okay. The, the the sequence of the pictures is important because you're telling a story, you know, like, like I got to the house, I'm going through the house, and so shooting it from the angles, like from the street first, that's important. Something like this will probably be in the uh, two, three hundred picture range before you, we're done. That you send? Yeah. You're, you're going to yes. send the client that many? Yes. All right, hey, we've uh, gotten a bunch of stuff right here. It's going inside. This place is in DC. It's smaller, but it's packed full of important little details. And even though I want to shoot the overall picture, I'm going to also focus in on a lot of the details here uh, that are, are, are clearly um, a selling point for this particular property. Real estate photography in itself has changed as time has gone on. Um, uh, some of the images that were acceptable uh, uh, maybe you know 10 years ago are completely not acceptable anymore. That used to just be in a book. It's interesting that you said people's expectations have changed because just as now it's expected that you're gonna have a wine chiller in yes. your house that with real estate photography all of us are on Instagram all of us yes. watch HGTV so absolutely. we expect that you're gonna give us that experience oh, absolutely. and image. Absolutely, absolutely. And another thing <laughs> Uh, you know, I mentioned a decade ago, uh, real estate photography. Now, everybody has a smartphone. Everybody has a camera on their phone. So what I do has to be different than what somebody can do with an iPad or an iPhone. It has to be better. The standard of real estate photography a decade ago was, is different than, than, than now. Mm -hmm. It has evolved and I had to evolve with it in order to, uh, to stay on top. Adjustment, there we are. Right. Now, you know what we should probably do? Check out upstairs. Let's see what it looks like up there. Before you were doing this day in and day out, before you owned your own company, mm -hmm. you actually were a lawyer. Well, yeah, I was a part of the legal staff at, uh, believe it or not, Metropolitan Police Department. I loved it. I was there for eight years. Uh, but I realized that, you know, if I had uh, been lucky enough to hit the lottery and have an unlimited amount of money and never had to work another day in my life, I knew that I would be a photographer. When people think, what is a sure thing? I can be a doctor, I can be a lawyer. You were a lawyer and you decided, you know what, that is so nice. Yeah. I love my education and career. However, mm -hmm. I love this more. Mm -hmm. I have to strike out on my own and mm -hmm. just go for it. Absolutely. And so finally you made the leap. There was another phrase I think I had heard. Um, it's like, find something that you like doing that somebody else will pay you to do and you'll never work another day in your life. You know, so many of us are afraid to deviate from the path that we either started on or think we should be on according to historical or cultural standards. But to actually say, this is where my heart is, my passion is, and where I want my future to be, to do that, I think is so cool.